Hello Aries, this is your mid-March 2020 reading, or it's just basically March again, 2020. For those born in the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rise are going to be the full Celtic cross. Full Celtic cross tells us everything we need to know. But let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, positive energies, hopefully. You know this will not resonate with all Aries individuals, so keep that in mind. And I always give an honest reading. Good or bad, we give an honest reading, okay? And if we get something that's not to your liking, we'll work through it. That's what we're supposed to do with Tarot, by the way. Knight of Cups, dealing with somebody of the emotional nature, possibly. Maybe you're feeling like good things that you like aren't coming in with the Knight of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. It's all kind of things, but that's the coming in energy. Two of Swords in reverse. You're putting your swords down. Or sometimes people are refusing to see things for how they are completely. You know, they totally block things off when it's in reverse. It depends on what the next card is. This is what's crossing it. Prince is a disc. It could be that some of you are wanting messages of the um, practical nature, financial nature. It has to do with security. For some of you, you'll be um, confronting or dealing with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. At least within the next 7 to 10 days, you will be. I'll clarify these. You know, when I clarify, I change the story up, so stick with me. And um, also... I'll give it a little mini love reading at the end because a lot of times this doesn't always have to do with love, the main um, reading. But what crowns you or the or what crowns you or the goal is coming out of disappointment. You want to come out of um, feeling let down, you know, with the five of cups in reverse. You want to come out of that foundation. Some of you could be dealing with the knight of swords, an air sign. It doesn't have to be an air sign. You know, but it's like maybe trying to move forward again quickly. Maybe you're trying to change your situation around quickly. Maybe you should change your situ around, situation around quickly. Or you're dealing with like an air sign that's got a lot of energy. Past position, gain. You're trying to get more independence and more money in your life. Okay. Ah, Ten of Cups. You are going to get an emotional satisfaction situation in your life. It could be, yeah, they call that the happily ever after card, but I call it being emotionally satisfying, the situation you are trying to achieve at this time. Possible future outcome, advice from the universe, Princess of Cups. I see all the signs here just about. Princess of Cups is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or messages of the emotional nature. You are going to get happily ever after. What is coming towards you? Or the outside environment, what is causing this, the night of this, is uh, um, stability coming in. It's coming in slowly, but it's coming in. Here, I'm thinking someone's trying to push it to go quickly, but maybe you feel like it's going too slow. It is coming in. And usually when I see the night of this coming in with the energy, and it could be, like I said, it could be a earth sign. I'm thinking it's somebody that, if it is a person, it's someone's real stable and secure in your life that's coming in. It also, for a lot of you, like I said, it's stability coming in. It's coming in slowly, but it is coming in to stay usually. Whatever is coming in is usually long term. Your hopes and fears is getting all your desires and your needs and wants. And in the end, you're going to be dealing with the Princess of Swords, the um, an air energy, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They are in reverse. So someone may be a little put off about something. We'll find out what it is because it could be messages that are sharp and to the point. But i got to find out. I do see you um, getting your Ten of Cups pretty quickly. Or not really quickly, but it is coming in for the long haul. But you may be irritating people. I do see where the swords are there. The Two of Swords are there as a subject of hand. What's crossing is the Princess of Dis. Maybe you're wanting stability to come in and maybe not everybody's happy about it. Maybe they're not happy by the way you're going about it. But let's find out. Two of Swords in reverse, Princess of Disc, crossing it. I need two cards, please, for Aries. Not bad cards. Yeah, someone's a little defensive with the Seven of Wands in reverse, okay? Someone's not happy with your situation, or you're not happy with the situation. So it looks like you may be 
um, changing something up. You may be having to talk to somebody and tell them what you're wanting in life, you know. What crowns you with a goal, and I'm thinking of what's crowning you, is trying to come out of disappointment. It could be your goal, you know, with the Five of Cups. You're, you're not liking your current situation. So Five of Cups in reverse. Two cards, please, for Aries. Two cards. You are going to aggravate somebody, though. Or you maybe, yeah. You're trying to come out of disappointment of not having your ships coming in. Yeah, you just didn't have a whole lot of abundance and positive memories on something. So you're trying to come out of that. And it looks like you do, but I think you're going to, like, step on toes when, you're, when you do this. Yeah, because people are going to make you offers that you're not going to accept with the Four of Cups. Foundation, the Knight of Swords, it is in the upright. That's like a powerful energy of getting something done. So the Knight of Swords, two cards, please, for Aries. Two cards. Princess of, Princess of Wands, that could be your card. It's in reverse, coming out of Hermit mode. Yeah, you're a little irritated with something. Princess of Wands can be, like I said, you. It could be a... Uh, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it looks like you're coming out of hermit mode and things are going to move. You're trying to push things forcefully. You're trying to get it something done. And like I said, you may step on a few toes while you're doing it. I don't think you may necessarily mean it intentionally. I just think you're trying to get out of a stuck situation or a situation you don't like. In the past, you were wanting independence and gain in your life with the Nine of Pentacles. I need two cards, please. Two cards. Yeah, you're trying to break free from a negative situation with the Seven of Swords. Another card, please. And regain strength. So you had your mind made up what you're wanting to do for a while now. You know, to get more money, security, strength, and breaking free from negative situations, like I said. I do think you, you are going to step on a few toes. I feel it, you know. Now, in the very near future, or, you know, the future, yeah, you're getting a passionate new beginning. It's trying to pop out, I'm going to let it. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands, yeah, you're going for something else. Um, maybe the people around you, you're telling them what you want to do, and maybe they don't, they don't like what your idea is, but it looks like you're going to do it anyway. I don't know if, no, I think it has a lot to do with your finances and overall emotional stability you know you're just wanting your happily ever after and there's nothing wrong with that so ten of cups ace of wands i need another card please yeah i don't think everybody's going to like what you're doing because when with the lust card in reverse it doesn't mean that you're not getting your desires it means that you may be a little bit forceful in getting what you're wanting you know um, I do see the Seven of Wands there in reverse where someone gets really, really defensive. So just know that when you approach people with what you're wanting, you're going to get what, what you're going for. But realize that people may be a little hurt. So you may want to take that into consideration and, you know, open up communications if you could. <clears throat> um, possible future outcome, advice from the universe is the Princess of Cups. I need two cards, please. Yeah, someone's really not happy with the situation. Somebody's a little concerned, you know. Someone's feeling chained to a situation where um, they don't like what is being offered to them that you're dealing with, okay. So I'm, I'm just saying maybe you want to open up communications. Maybe you don't know this is happening. This part you're going to be faced with in the next 7 to 10 days, okay. With the defensiveness where someone's not happy. Could have to do with the Prince of Discs. Could have to do with the Swords energy to a sword. Someone may put up their blockers or, may, or, or put down their swords and tell people what they're doing. But it's coming towards you is a Knight of Discs. Stability. Stability. Like I said, some of you will be dealing with a, an Earth sign. I need two cards, please, for the Knight of Disc. And then, like I said, we'll do a love reading. Knight of Disc. Like for some of you, this could really have to do with your career, too. Yeah, you got, you know, I'm like, I'm, you got good things coming towards you. You got where people really do care about you, but they're a little put out also. Because I see the Prince of Cups and the Knight of Disc, both in the upright, coming towards you, the outside environment. But you also got someone who's very emotional right now over where your life is going. You know, your hopes and fears is the lust card going for your desires. You're, you're wanting what you're wanting, you know. So the lust card in the upright, I need two cards, please. 
It's a good card. It's not a bad card. Sometimes it actually means lust. Sometimes, yeah, you don't like negative karmic situations. You may put them away from you. Um, you're considering walking away from a situation altogether that you feel that is not working for you. It could be that you may have threatened to do this. It doesn't mean that you will. They're just like in your hopes and fears. And you may be afraid for some of you that if you go for what you're wanting, your desires, that um, someone else may walk away, you know, from a situation. You may lose, you're afraid you may lose situations. So, because in the end, you are dealing with the Princess of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or someone very, you know, blunt words. Princess of Swords, I need two cards, please. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be just someone's energy, just feeling this way. I need two cards for the ending result. So, yeah, someone is feeling unfortunate situation with you, and they want to talk, okay? They're going to want to talk, and they're going to say, well, what about me? What about my situation? You know, and that's where it's going to end, okay? Someone in the end is feeling a little hopeless in your situation. Not necessarily you. I don't feel it's you. It could be for some of you. But I feel like this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of Aries are going for what they're wanting. And people around them, like I said, may not be happy. And they're going to talk to you about it. You're still going for your Ten of Cups. You're still going for stability. It's still coming in. But you... At the same time, you got to deal with people around you that are just not happy with your situation, which are where you're going, you know? And you're just going to have to deal with it, especially when I see um, the swiftness card, you know, the Eight of Wands, where someone's really wanting to talk or travel or communicate in some way. It's, it's quickly, too, okay? So I just see a little bit of a blip you, you, where there's a little bit of a power struggle of where Aries wanting to go and where other people don't want them to go because maybe they feel they'll miss out on Aries, okay? Let me give a love reading. Let me clean this up, and I'll be right back. Oh, Aries is the love reading part, I promised. This is for mid-March 2020. We need to know something about love with the angel answers. This is just a mini read. For Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, positive energies for love. Mid-March 2020. Starting March 2020. Ask your angels, if you're kind of concerned over your love situation and your relationships, ask your guides and the angels, and they will, they will guide you in the direction you need to go when it comes to love. There are helpful people around you. I did see that in your last reading. I also saw that there are a few people that were unhappy with you, but I also saw stability coming towards you. So people are helpful, and you feel like if you're stepping on toes in a love relationship or anything like that, ask your angels, and they will help you. They will help you. Otherwise, this card would not be there. So if you feel a little distraught or a little antsy about something that you're going towards, um, you got... You got people out there that are willing to help, and so are your angels. If you believe in love, love will come to you, okay? But you got to believe in it. I see a lot of Aries a lot of times are like, I'm done with love, I'm done with this. But if you believe in it, it will work for you. But you got to believe. If you're thinking negative, if you're thinking it's not going to work out, well, guess what? And if you're having trouble with a love situation or where you're going to go in love, like I said, ask your angels. And you got helpful people around you and not so helpful people around you also. Um, but you got helpful people around you that will help you um, deal with a love situation. So go towards those that are helpful, okay? Let's find out more, though. I need to know three cards from the Psychic Tarot for Aries. About love, mid-March. 2020 for Aries in love. Sun, Moon, Rising. Three cards, please. I see a lot of changes coming for Aries. It's like they're almost going elsewhere. Yeah, um, ask your angels. They're again here over obstacles and challenges you're having. They will help you through it. It says it is, you know. Like I said, I see Aries moving along into something else. So maybe... For a lot of Aries, love isn't the first priority, but if you believe, love will come in. But it's like your mind is elsewhere for a lot of you. Yeah, helpful people will people will help you. The ones that are meant to help you, that are coming in, they will help you through this um, 
disruption you're having in your life with other with others. You know, you got helpful people coming in to help you, you know, deal with others that are not so helpful or a disruptive situation at a job or work or life in general. So um, look for the people that are coming towards you, maybe like an earth sign, like I said, and a possible water sign. Even though I do see you stepping on the toes of someone that may have a lot of air in them or someone that is really feisty with their words. You are, if you believe, like I said, you'll get what you're wanting. You get rejoice and celebration, three of cups energy. You will have abundance and things coming in that you will celebrate. But you got to believe in it. You got to realize that this is going to be gone, that you can get rid of this. You ask the people around you, ask your angels, let it go, let that disruption go. And then if you believe, you will have rejoice and celebration in your situation over the emotional nature that probably has to do with love. Okay. Because I'm asking about love, but I do see, like I said, Aries life is changing. They're going towards certain goals that they want to do. And um, and they also got to go towards the people, like I said, that are helpful, that will help you overcome the disruptions where you make your transition of where you're wanting to go. Because I do see you getting that with that Ten of Cups in that last reading. That's the happily ever after card, but not everybody's happy for you. But you do have also helpful people coming towards you. So realize who is who. I think you're going to know because when I saw that swords energy in reverse, you're going to know straight away who is for you and who is against you, okay? So if you believe good things are coming in, but keep your eye on the prize, keep focus, and don't let disruptions uh, keep you from going towards your path in life and where you need to be, okay? I'm going to let this go. I'll upload it soon. Bye.